Can you believe this is a wig? Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to color a full lace wig jet black without staining the lace. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I bleached the knots. Now I'm toning the knots to get rid of the fire roots. I'm using equal amounts of Shades EQ 9NA plus the processing solution. The 9NA looks better on my skin and removes all the red tones, if any. I allow it to process until all unwanted red tones are gone. Now I'll use any thick gel to protect my knots from hair color. Now I'm placing it under the dryer to let it get hard. Once it's dry, you can color. I'm using Igor Jet Black with 20 volume developer equal amounts. I'm going to do the roots first and do the ends last. This way I can stay neat in my application. Allow the color to process 20 to 25 minutes or according to the color's instructions. Now I'm shampooing it using cold water to keep my black from fading.
Now I'm going to tweeze to make it look natural. I'm still practicing tweezing, so I'm put it at a faster pace. Learn te tweezing techniques, the link above. Okay, I'm using my zigzag scissors, which is easier for me to use other than cutting straight across with regular scissors. And it, it makes it look natural so it doesn't be uneven. I'm cutting close to the edge, but leaving a little bit of lace so I can apply my wig. On some full lace wigs, on the back of it, there'll be like clear thread. You will need to remove that so it won't show up. So now I'm going to tint my lace with medium brown.
So pretty much you'll do the same process that you did in the back and the front.
I really love this look on me. It's probably one of my favorite looks. If you have any questions about this video, please comment down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on.